Well, hello friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm Handington and today we're continuing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. It is swelteringly hot inside the house. It is 91 degrees. Feels like it's even hotter. I have been dying. I don't think I was getting heat stroke. I have just felt very, very lightheaded and dizzy and nauseous and not very good. So I am downstairs where it is cooler. Um, can't be too loud, so I gotta be careful. But I really wanted to keep going. It's been it's been a while since I've done this. But I'm very excited. They had another patch. I don't know what what they patched because for some reason I can't find wherever patch notes are around. I always had a lot more trouble with jellyfish than I should. They're, they're, they're like the Goombas in... well no they're not the Goombas, they're... The Goombas are the Fodders. The Hammers are the Koopas. Jellyfish are just the jellyfish. So I briefly like ran back and forth and off the edge to get a couple more shiny objects the last time. And I also went around the back of the house to see if there was anything. Um, oh yeah, there there is underwear. Like which I can use right now. So, let's see. We've already talked to Gary. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -da. There's another golden spatula for uh, the challenge. At this point, that's normally a very easy golden spatula to get because you can just use the bubble bowl. However, you can't, because I haven't unlocked it due to us sequence breaking the game. Whoops. Well, I missed the platform, and oh, Hans didn't even have a chance to pull me back. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> I am so happy. I've always wanted to be able to do something like this. <laughs> We only have a few shiny objects. Ooh, we're at three golden spatulas and we're already at one of the latest levels in the game. I did it again. That that was that was totally on me. Hans can't even catch up to us in time. Oh, my computer is a little laggy at the moment. That time I jump because I, I pressed the jump button, but it just didn't jump in time. You know what, we can, we can warp here anytime we want. I'm very glad we accidentally managed to get to the middle of Bikini Bottom. So, on top of Shady Shoals, let's warp over here instead. In the next two areas of the game, we will need the sponge bowl and the, the cruise missile. Really? Really? Why do we have... So that is our burner. It's for making hot water and heating the house. I don't know why we have it turned on, because it is a million bajillion degrees. But there it is, so I'm gonna have to live with that. Great. Perfect. It shines. Oh, oh, oh gee, oh gee. Oh, look at this, the back of Sandy's house is also blocked off. Oh, there goes Hans. Because we need the uh, the bubble bowl, but this might allow me to get over there faster. Nope, the switch only requires. Oh, there's. It is a little. There's, there's a little bowling pin, so it absolutely requires that. Okay. Ah. Uh, I would have been tempted to jump down the pit, but I I wanted to make sure that we could sequence break correctly. Now, now we can't do that unless I try and do the, uh, the, the glitch again. Unless they patch that out soon, which I hope they don't, because this was a lot of fun. I love glitches like that. that. That makes things like this way more fun. Look at this! The gate is down, and we're looking at it from this angle. Now, I mean, 
they were smart because doing this actually unlocks an area, like a specific area. So it isn't just unlocking the outside of town, this unlocks one of the boss fights. So we still will have to go back there and get it. Um, look at this, it's blocking me from going backwards instead. This is what I've always hoped for as a kid, to be able to just get back here. To sequence break the game like this. Oh, well, it took me out of the game. Very good, very good. Now I have to readjust. Because what's very strange is the mouse... Like, I, I will move the mouse around and then sometimes it'll click out of the game, but otherwise the mouse disappears. So, like, sometimes it'll just suddenly shift and then it'll change the window size and now I have to change it in editing. Goody. Oh, wow, that that makes me jump up very high. I wonder if I can use this to my advantage. Maybe not. Maybe so. Oops. Super mega combo. Nah, yeah, I can't move. Oh, okay. Let's enter Shady Shoals. Let's see if there's any, um... I forget which one is free here. Is the Mermelair free? Let's, let's, let us go and let us see. Wow! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! My heroes! Hit me with the water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! <laughs> That's an ability that he has where he can create a, a ball of water underwater to, to throw at things, which is sort of like what SpongeBob does with the bubble bowl. Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. And yes, for, for anybody who doesn't know, they're based off of um, Batman and Robin as uh, reti retired superheroes. Oh, hello, ma'am. Thanks for walking by with the wheelchair. And uh, Mermaid... Oh, oh, she got stuck. <laughs> And Mermaid Man is also designed after Aquaman. Oh. Oh. So in the background, somehow, I launched GIMP, the editing software. Um, I don't know how, but now it's, it's loaded in the background. It's right behind here, and I can't get out of the screen. Can't move the mouse away. Good. This is one of the kinds of glitches that I wish was easier to fix. This is the kind of thing to fix, not the one that you can sequence break with. That's fun. Oh, the old man. You can see, like, a clothing texture on his clothes. That's cool. Is that the TV repairman? <laughs> no, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, it would be my greatest honor to fix your television. <laughs> the woman is just shaking in the background. Could be. <laughs> hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. <laughs> uh, we've got a little problem with some robots <laughs> down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Oh man, they even got into the Mermelair. It only just hit me that, like, they even got into the secret bases. Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Hmm. Poor Mermaid Man. So senile. Hello, old woman. There you go. Look at her face! She's just terrified! Oh, I feel bad! Hello, phone. Can't destroy the phone. What do you have to say? The TV repair kid again? Maybe he can rub my feet. <laughs> Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going fast. Yay, goody. Jump on here. Oh, look at that! They're floating without a thing to float on. Why are they floating? 
They need a thing to, to float on. Make sure you hit all the old people. It's vitally important. Alright, well I guess we'll bubble bash to get those. I didn't I don't know why they were floating. Nope. Don't get anything from that. Oh, there's the TV. Look, it's Jellyfish Fields with a swing set. Press F to watch. This is a bikini bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild! <laughs> this game is fantastic. This is a Bikini Bottom News! Hear me now! And now... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mermaid Man, just did what had to be done. Oh, here's this person who doesn't really seem very old, but is, might be visiting. Gotta get you too. Can't bounce on the sofa. Nor can we destroy it. But that works. Let's see. The rug looks great. I love this. <laughs> It's a whole Spongebob levelified version of the show. It's just... It makes me happy. It's just, it's just a simple joy. That I just... I'm just... I'm just very happy. Yay. Oh, look at the couch! Oh man, even the couch looks great. Oh, this makes me happy. Let's unlock the Mermelair. Enter the Mermelair. Yes. Oh, even his his slippers look fuzzy. He looks a little less creepy going down the Mermelair chute like he did in the original, I'm glad. Because in the original he kind of oozed in there, and here it's like he just kind of slides in a silly way. I actually prefer this version. Alright, well we'll have another area unlocked. There's one free area in each um, level. Jellyfish fields... Um, I guess it really was the Mermelair. I thought it was Rock Bottom that was free. Um, and then Spongebob's Dream. So those are like the three free areas that we can unlock each each time we go to a new place. Which is excellent, because that means that we can just get to it right away. Uh, there's the chute. You can go back to the rest home through the chute, which I think is just a nice little touch. Just to show that it's like um, all connected. Alright, well, we're in the Mermelair. There's the, um, the Skalagtites in the, in the distance. I love the look of this. Ah, oh, it's great. Ooh, look! A broken metal thing. And a little debris. It's Debris. Oh, I'm so glad they added in little touches of, of some, some destroyed stuff. Yay. Alright, so, we don't have the Sponge Bowl, which... This is usually the first area you go to right after you unlock it. So the game is basically designated around doing the sponge bowl. Like, y you gotta use it to get that, destroy that stuff at a distance. So, we'll see how far we can go without the abilities. <laughs> For anybody else who doesn't know, that is another Spongebob quote. <laughs> you shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Oh. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Aww. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just <laughs> tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. Oh, no. That's what happened to a pair of my sunglasses, though not with Patrick Starr, it was more of my sister. But I got new sunglasses, and then they also ended up breaking. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. <laughs> it is? Goodness. It is? Yes, a bunch of evil robots have taken over... 
the Mermel Air security system. Mermaid it's Man. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Mermaid Man's voice was always off in this. Whoever they got as the replacement didn't quite sound like Ernest Borgnine. And um, I, I know they... they they couldn't get him. I don't remember if he was still alive when this game was made, or if he was just a bit too expensive, or if he just wasn't in good health and just just couldn't do it. Um, but the replacement they got always just sounded a little bit too off to me. Same with Mr. Krabs. Um, but hey, I still I still like I still like the voices. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. It's, let it be known, Battle for Bikini Bottom takes place on a Thursday. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. And despite them having doctor appointments, <laughs> um, they, they still appear throughout the level, I believe. Responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. <laughs> I love the writing in this game. To the doctor's office! Away! Uh oh! They go to the doctor's office now. Okay, well, that explains it then. Oh, no, wait. Nope, they're still just standing there. I can hit them and destroy the computer, and the computer freaks out. I love that. <laughs> oh yeah, and see this this little line of um, tiki's you're supposed to knock into uh, with, with the bubble bowl and as, like uh, to go a straight line. Again, this whole area is um, built around this, the it's bubble bowl. I remember this. They used this mechanic. In, uh, of, of the tiles, they reuse that as another secret in, whatchamacallit, the movie game. They reuse such good stuff, I, it makes me happy. Ooh! Yay! I, I messed up. I, I landed here accidentally. <laughs> Gotta read the sign. Don't step on the squares of the disco floor. Look out for that grid on the floor! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> you can just jump over the entire thing. Again, it's an introductory obstacle just to get you used to everything. These poles are power generators. Don't touch them. Or the energy beam. Bloop. There we go. Checkpoint. Ooh! <laughs> A sponge. And now it looks like a block of cheese. Oh, he even pulls out a gun to spin it around when he's not doing anything. I love that. This robot is named Arf. Use the bubble bowl to defeat them. Well. Take that, Arf. He even makes a barking sound when you hit him. There we go, and there's the 10 gallon hat. Alright, well, the keyboard got stuck and threw me off the edge. Good. Beautiful. <laughs> he ducks into his hat and then flies away. He has a mustache. He has a tiny little doghouse that he releases dog bots from. This guy is great. I love his design. Get those tiny little bomb robots, which are different from the dog bombs. Multiple, multiple bomb robots. Oh wait, I, I went back here to destroy the tiki's. There was no point in doing so. Let's see. There's stuff up there. And there's stuff up there. We'll probably get to that in a second. Stair climb time. It's climb time, along with rhyme time. Oh. Hmm. Oh, am I supposed to talk to the computer? 
I don't see it. We need the sponge bowl to shift a thing. You can use the bubble bowl to turn paddle wheels. Bowl one side of this paddle to make it turn. Well, can't do that. But I love the I love the way they designed it. It's also not perfectly straight. So they ha they have it deliberately crooked. I'm so glad they left that in. Yay! Also, the middle looks like it's made of metal instead of the whole thing being like uh, wood. I believe that's nice. That's an interesting touch. All right. So now we're up here. I believe this is supposed to. Oh, hello, stalactite or stalagmite. Stalagmites are the ones in the bottom, I think, and stalactites are the one on uh, one of the ones above. There's a golden spatula over there. Let's see. What do we have unlocked so far? Top of the entrance area. Okay. I, I can just get up here. Except for getting stuck in the wall. I am I'm stuck in the lamp. I I'm stuck. There's nothing I could do, and now I broke into a pile of sponge chunks. Well... Ooh, I already got a, a checkpoint from over here. I didn't even realize that. Nice. I don't think I can reach that over there. Do I need the sponge wheel to get to that over there? Maybe? I don't know. Oops. There's Arf. I don't think I need to defeat Arf at the moment. I think I can just jump. Nope. Well, I intend on getting there. I intend on doing this. Even if it may take me a couple of tries. I got it. Oh my gosh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yay! We unlocked another golden spatula. Yes! I cheesed the game. You're not supposed to do that. Look at that. Yeah, I think you're supposed to do some other thing over there. Oh my gosh. We cheated the game. We got up here early. <laughs> and we just beat the area. Alright, let's head over to the next spot. Oh my gosh, we didn't even need the bubble bowl. I love this game. This game makes me so happy. Yay! This is fun. We'll have to come back here again some other time to, to do that legitimately. Mermelair, secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. <laughs> Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never <laughs> believe what's been happening. I find it amazing how it's a secret lab, and yet Squidward got in, the robots got in, and also Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, they just, they just are not going to their doctor's appointments. They just go even further into the lab. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. <laughs> they just they just they would they just let Squidward into the Mermelair to help instead. Oh look at this place. I mean please. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? <laughs> Squidward makes an excellent point, and Squidward is much better at design. I also like the way that he said "police," because the the way that his mouth moved, it just he, he enunciated it. I love the cutscenes and the the character animations while talking. Oh, that's easy! In episode twenty-seven, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they never mind. <laughs> He's such an angry Squido. Look at him anger. <laughs> Excuse me. Look at look at him. He steps forward, then slides back, and steps forward and slides back, and his his, his tentacles are balled up in a fist. That's good animations. Uh, 
SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Do you want the booby-trapped or the non-booby-trapped exit? Non-booby-trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> 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 or maybe it was that way. <laughs> Poor Squidward. Which direction did we come from? Oh, we came from up there. Aha. Oh, secret path. No secret path. Oh, death. Hello, death. Nice to meet you. So, we would need Patrick for some of this. Patrick already has all of his abilities unlocked, even though we haven't technically unlocked Patrick yet. Uh, we unlock him in Jellyfish Fields, but I think you can still use the... Oh, look at all those beeping lights. So that's a, that's a lot of... not beeping, blinking lights. Ah. Well... This is a bit of a pickle. It appears... We won't be able to make it this way. Also, I realize I have the brightness turned on on my computer, which is probably why the battery is draining. Uh, there we go. I need to lower that up so this way the battery doesn't die so quickly. Um, well... We can't go any further. We absolutely have to have the bubble bowl. But we got a golden spatula from the mermelair. We managed to cheese it, so I am happy. Top of the computer area. Yep, can't go over there. So I'm gonna cut this this here. Leave it that time again, friends. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone. This is Handington. Very happy. Bye!